Hey parents, this is Miss Dennis. I teach pre-K, but this afternoon I'm working with some kindergarten students and I am getting ready to teach them how to play war with dice. Okay. And so I have a friend who is going to be sitting right here, friend. Awesome. And we are both going to roll our dice. We're going to add our dice together to see who has more. Okay, ready? One, two, three. You roll yours. Roll yours. Roll yours. Okay. Add yours together. I have six. Okay. So my friend has nine and I have six. Who won? Me. Me. My friend won. So let's roll it again. Okay. So we're going to ready? One, two, three, roll. And I have four and four, and that's eight. And what do you have? He has 12. I have eight. He has 12. Which one is more? Me. So who wins? Me. Me. Oh, you. <laughs> okay. So now, friends. When we play this, it really kind of depends on what your kids are learning at the time. So if you're doing kindergarten, you're going to use two dice. If you are really smart, you may add a third one if you want. And you can roll three dice. If you are, if you are in first grade, you may have a smaller dice that has numbers on it. Okay? And so you may roll one of those plus one of these. And if you do that, then your first graders are going to be working on counting on. Okay? So let's, I'll, I'll show you how that works. Okay? Um, friend, would you give me one of your dice? Okay? <laughs> And I'm going to give you one of these dice, okay? And so now, instead of rolling the same size dice, we're going to roll one number dice and one dot dice. And we're going to practice counting on from the number dice. You ready? Yes. Back up, friend. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, roll. Okay. You've got seven and one. So that is eight. Okay. Now, how did you count that on? This is the number. Right. I know. Okay. So he had an easier one. He said he had seven and one. So he said seven, and then you add one, that's eight. Okay. Now, I have 11. I have 11 and four. So I'm going to put this 11 in my head, 11. And then when I count on, I'm going to count the next number after 11. So I would do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 and my friend has eight. Who has more? Me. So this time, Miss Dennis wins. And for friends like this, this is a great opportunity for them to practice addition. As they get older, you can actually change this to multiplication. 11 times 4? Yikes! For the higher grade levels, you could do that and still practice multiplication. Parents, I hope you have a great night again. If you do not have this dice at home, then um, just know that at the um, at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Walmart, they sell wooden cubes that are blank, and you can get a whole pack of them. And I use a sharpie and I write the numbers on them. So then you've got your regular dice that you already have in a game board. And then you get the wooden dice at Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, 
probably Joanne, any craft store has their one inch cubes and you write your numbers on those dice. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know or ask your child's teacher. Um, this is another great family fun night thing that you can do that will actually help them practice their math. Hope you have a great night. Thanks again for joining us.